I guess in this video I am going to discuss what pivot clause in Oracle database. So about the pivot clause, so it is used to convert row values into columns. So this is the syntax add here or select a start from. So select column, add here column from the tables and here where clause with condition and here pivot operator. So first part is you have to use any aggregator function. Just like max, mean, sum, and hereafter you have to pass the columns and here use for and column name, and hereafter in operator here you have to pass the expression. So, whatever expression you pass, so this will convert into columns, and here order by expression, so you can give ascending order and descending order. Now here after I am going to show you the first table and here so this is the table Z I am using and here this is the records so this is the record here in Z or table so here this is the Z so I am going to convert so this year has uh, 2018 and 19 so this is the or rows 2018. Now I am going to convert this rows into column. So see at here 2018 and 19. And whatever the respective amount in 2018, I am going to display. So see at here 2018 hundred and here 719. It's all out there. So in January, so hundred and February. So it's so. Oh, February here yeah, 719. So, like this, I want to separate so 2018 values and 2019 values. So, in 2019, Jan 1000. So, 2019, Jan 1000 values there. So, let's write the query. So, add here first, we need to use select a statement. Or select a star from select a star from now here also let's write or select so this is the inner query select so going to select at your year next going to select month here after selecting amount from the table name Z. And here after let's close by bracket. Now here after going to use pivot operator. Pivot operator. And here after we need to use. So going to use at your sum. Sum. So which column? So going to do the sum on amount. Amount. And here after let's use for year so year so going to enter the year value at here in 2018 comma 2019 now here after so let's close by bracket and here after order by month so this is the query to calculate pivot operation. Now here after let's execute that. So it's executed successfully. Now here after. So let's copy that one or and paste it down. So paste going to paste and this version. Okay. So this is the input value and here this is the so first let's state that okay so this is the input value and after applying pivot operation so this is the value I am getting so add here in or 2018 jam so add here 1000 it's so displaying sorry 100 in 2000 or uh, 18 fab 
so here it's uh, displaying 719 so let's search at fam so 719 it's uh, displaying now here after there is no any duplicate values here now in 2019 it's uh, January 1000 here and whenever that to uh, not to or uh, at uh, just like uh, in August uh, there is no any uh, 2019 value so it's uh, stored by null so this is the one example to calculate to pivot operator suppose we have a table like this so this is the table 2 and your name year and sales so I wanna keep the name okay and here Ryan, Russell, Max so I wanna keep that name and here after year so this year column sorry those values going to convert into the column to 2010 and here in convert into columns 2011 2010 so like this you can also do that so let's check the table first now we are going to use the table select a star from pivot underscore tab pivot underscore tab is my table now execute this table so this is the record now let's write the pivot operation so add here select a star from pivot underscore tab so this is the table so add here this is the table pivot underscore tab now here after let's use write at your inner query so select so selecting at your name column now here after year and here says three column I selected now here after let's use from cross and keep the table name so at your pivot underscore tab now here after let's use pivot operator pivot operator and you are going to use sum so sum on sales columns so going to calculate the sum of sales and here let's use for and here year and going to in and here 2010 2011 and 2012 so this is the 2010 11 12 now here after close by bracket and here give the order by so order by name so going to do the order by on name now here after in so there is a one more bracket so this is the bracket here now let's execute and check Now let's execute and check. So at here getting the error message. Okay, let's skip the bracket for pivot. So this is the pivot. It's not close. Now at this point, going to give the bracket. So this is the pivot bracket. Now execute the query again. So this time getting the expected output. So add here, this is the output. So this is the input column and here this is the output column. Name, it's come at here, name. Now uh, this year. So year, it's now converted. Year values 2010, 11, 12. So it's all our rows. Now rows is converting to the columns. And here that make 2010 in one group at here for rayon so rayon is uh, at your rayon so rayon at here 2010 2010 so that are doing the summation so 70 2500 and your 20 or uh, 23000 if you add the value come 95 or uh, 500 so this is the sum value it's come now here after the next is max 
so max has 2010 and uh, there is only one max so that the sum it's uh, displaying 67,800 and rayon so in round 2010 so there is a rayon and here after rayon so there is a one more rayon so 72,000 here it's add so this will uh, display 95,500 and here Russell so Russell 2010 so this is the Russell and here Russell only one time so it's uh, displaying 60,500 now add here max 2011 so max 2011 so there is a one max so that here it's a displaying or uh, there is a one value of sales of max 78600 here and here after or uh, uh, Russell so 2011 Russell only one Russell sorry so this is the Russell and here uh, one more Russell so if you add 45,000 plus 4580 the value come 49,580 now rayon so 2011 rayon 2000 so only one rayon so that it's a displaying 99,088 now here after 2000 now here after in 2012 so there is the one values and here rayon so if you check at your 2012 so there is no need to add 2012 so rayon has the value is 78,100 so it's a display so this is the way we can use pivot operator and we could we can do the summation at here so we can do the summation so in place of, of sum you can give at here max so let's give at here max operator now execute that so it's a display in 2010 max which one has the highest sales value so it's a display 67,800 here so this is the about to pivot operator in Oracle database so it is used to convert any uh, rows into columns so this time I used add here year and here this is the rows values so I converted 2011-12 into columns now you can try with name also so you can try that here uh, Rayon and Russell and Max convert into the columns and here you can do like uh, 2010 at this point so you can do the same thing also so this is the use of pivot operator in Oracle database so I hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you